Dermoid cyst. Dermoid cyst is a cyst that is lined by squamous epithelium which contains desquamated cells. The contents of this cyst are the mixture of the sweat, sebum, desquamated epithelial cells and the hair. Coming to the clinical types, these are the congenital or the sequestration dermoid which is formed along the lines of the embryonic fusion or the midline of the body or the face. So remember sequestration dermoid or the congenital dermoid are formed along the lines of the embryonic fusion that means midline of the face and the body. Medial nasal dermoid cyst. This occurs at the root of the nose at the fusion lines of the frontal process. That means here will be the frontal process and this is the nose. Here forms the medial nasal dermoid cyst. The external and the internal angular dermoid it occurs in the fusion line of the frontonasal and the maxillary processes. The sublingual dermoid as the name indicates sublingual below to the tongue, preauricular dermoid that means in front of the ear and the postauricular dermoid behind the ear. So this picture shows the postauricular dermoid. Clinical features. The clinical features of a dermoid manifest in the childhood or the adolescence. These dermoid are typically painless, slow growing swellings which are soft, cystic and fluctuant and by applying the pressure with the finger these will not slip away. So this is the diagnostic point from the dermoid and the sebaceous cyst. We will learn about it in the upcoming videos and the dermoid or the dermoid cyst shows translumination negative that means when the light is thrown on this dermoid it does not illuminate and the consistency of this dermoid is putty or putty like so this picture shows the medial nasal dermoid and there are some other types of the dermoid which are called as implantation dermoid it is seen mostly in women tylers agriculturists who sustain repeated minor injuries. It is usually caused due to sharp injury. When there is a sharp injury, the epidermal cells implanted in the subcutaneous plane goes inside and it forms a dermoid cyst. These are mostly seen in the fingers, palm, sole of the foot because these parts are mainly involved for skilled work. So it is usually seen in the women like tylers, agriculturists, for example, when a female is sewing a machine and the needle of this machine gets inside the finger. It causes the epidermal cells to get inside the subcutaneous plane which further causes the dermoid cyst. Another type is the teratomatous dermoid. These arise from the totipotent cells that means they are ectodermal, mesodermal or endodermal in origin. These teratomatous dermoids are usually seen in the ovary, testis, retroperitoneum and the mediastinum. We have just learned about it. It contains bone, hair, sebum that means endoderm, mesoderm and the ectoderm. This picture is the teratomatous cyst. Tubuloembryonic dermoid. As the name indicates tubuloembryonic. Tubulo means it usually arises from the tubular structures and embryonic meaning it occurs at birth. So it is usually from the ectodermal tubes like the thyroglossal cyst which occurs in the thyroglossal duct and the post anal dermoid. So what are the investigations in the case of dermoid cyst? Blood investigations like TC, TC, HB and ESR, urine examination, FNAC that is the fine needle aspiration cytology of the dermoid cyst x-ray which shows the sub-adjacent bone which was eroded by dermoid, ultrasonography and the CT scan. Ultrasonography is used to note the mass or the cystic or solid lesions and the CT scan is for shape, size and the local spread. Treatment. As you all know, the treatment of the dermoid cyst is the excision. 
the dermoid cyst is excised and it is taken off so guys this is all about the dermoid cyst the types of dermoid cyst and investigations and treatment if you like this video do subscribe to my channel